In this IG Apps tutorial, you'll learn how to launch the gallery, allow the user to select an image, and then display that image from the gallery inside of your own Android app. Let's get started. In ActivityMain.xml, I have this very basic layout with an image view and a button at the bottom of the screen, which you can go ahead and pause the video to copy. Inside of our main activity.java, I'm going to create a, an object for our button called gallery. And now I'll set an on click listener on this button so that when the button is clicked, we can go ahead and ask the user to select an image from their photo gallery. To do this, we're going to create an intent. I'll call it intent and it'll be a new intent. We'll provide intent.actionPic as one of the parameters to specify that we want the user to be able to um, choose an image from their gallery. Once I have this intent, I'll go ahead and call this method stacked start activity for result and then pass in my intent. And the reason we're using this instead of just the regular start activity is because we want to get back a result once we launch this intent. The result is going to be an image. And then we want to come back to our app and do some more things. So that's why I'm using start activity for result. Which means that outside of my onCreate method, I'm going to override the onActivityResult method. You can do this by typing, uh, doing Control O and then typing onActivity. And you can see that this is one of the methods we can override. You can go ahead and delete this nullable part if it's coming up for you in your function. And over here is basically where we're going to handle getting the image from this data intent and then displaying it inside of our image view. The first thing that I'm going to do is check whether the result code is equal to result underscore OK to make sure that the user has successfully chosen an image and they haven't canceled on an operation. I'm also going to check if our intent over here called data is not equal to null. And inside of my if statement, I'm going to create a URI variable for my selected image. A URI stands for a uniform resource identifier, and this basically points at um, the data that we want to access. So URI selected image is going to be equal to our intent data dot get data. And you could have seen that the get data method returns a URI. Now we're going to create a variable for our image view. And this will equal to find view by ID r dot ID dot image view. And image views have a function called set image URI. We're going to use this function to take the selected image that the user has chosen, which we're getting from our intent, and then we're going to pass it into the set image URI function. So now if we run our app, you'll see that this is all that is required to launch the gallery so that the user can choose a photo and then to take the image that the user has selected and display it in an image view. So here's the app and we can go through the demo once more. I'll select the IG apps icon and now it's displayed in the app. If you found this tutorial useful, please make sure to subscribe and share the channel with friends. See you in the next tutorial.